Well, the, the challenges are massive and sometimes daunting, and they are heartbreaking when you look at the kind of challenges uh, Egypt is facing or, or the Arab world is facing. They are formidable. We do not, we should not, we do not minimize the formidable challenges that Egypt and the Arab, the other Arab countries are facing. But this is the time to look at the opportunities rather than the challenges. Egypt is full of opportunities. The Arab world is full of opportunities. We have, you know, educated people, we have middle class, we have, uh, there is a lot that, you know, and we have resources too. There is a lot that can go for Egypt. If Egypt is a democratic country, and if Egypt is a free of, of corruption country, and if Egypt is, you know, a, 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 a law binding and institutionalized, I think the, the resources is what what counts, which makes you know the potential for Egypt emerging as the new Arab tiger, say in five years down the road. Indeed, one could even think a little bit further to see Egypt in the long run, probably by 2020, as the Brazil of the Arab world, or the Indonesia, or the Korea, that is the South Korean of the Arab world. This is the time to think really optimistically and look uh, into the, 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 the future with, with a little bit of a sense of mission rather than you know, a sense of being overwhelmed and being depressed, etc., etc. I really, once again, emphasize this is the time to look uh, optimistically rather than pessimistically, and this is a time for hard work rather than being overwhelmed by all the challenges that we know of them. They are formidable, they are there, they are not to be ignored, but I think the potentials are great for the airport.